Uh, I thought our team did a really good job of getting ourselves recomposed um, after somewhere in the second quarter, I think. We kind of lost that composure. It wasn't looking, it was looking good for us, and then we started rushing. Uh, we lost our player a couple times. We didn't communicate on defense, and I think just the composure thing Great made start, a big difference. Though. Yeah, for sure. Tell me about, I mean, 28 points in the first quarter, you guys were dishing out nine assists. Yeah, I mean, we spend a lot of time working against their pressure and their zone, and trying. It's not something you see all the time. The one-three-one, and even the way they run their their two-three zone is a little bit different. And so we spend a lot of time work, working on that, and um, wanting to make easy plays and find players because we have a lot of players who can make shots, and we, it didn't matter which one it was. We just wanted to find the next open one, um, and you know, move it around spot by spot by spot. We don't want to try to do everything all at one time. And so I think that that was a big part of it was just. Um, you know, coming out ready to go. It's nice having two great passers on the floor uh, at the same time with the trunks. So that's a luxury that's always, um, you know, not something that you can always do um, or have, but we have it right now. So it's great to have those two who can find teammates. They can make shots. So they're not only limited to their passing, they're, they're able to shoot the ball as well and uh, finish. So I think that that was a huge, huge key to the start. What can you say about Yvonne? Is that something you're just gonna like expect at this point? Or? Her performance? Yeah. I mean, kinda. Uh, you can't you can't ever put that kind of pressure on somebody. I think she's lucky that, um, like all the other zags that we have on our team now and have come before her, that she's got great teammates to uh, carry some of the burden, um, and that allows her to do what she does. I mean, she she doesn't have to play 35 minutes a game to get what she got because she's. Um, got other players on her team who can rebound and who can score and um, she's certainly capable of doing all of those things um, I think without adding undue pressure to her she's she's really good and um, she's added some to her game where she can um, score a little bit more freely from the, the perimeter um, you know she's always had her drive game and her around the basket game and her defense um, but she's just kind of expanded and done a really great job worked really hard to get to the place where she is right now and I'm never going to be surprised if the numbers look like that. I can tell you that. Uh, 21 turno no, turnovers is probably 21 more than you would like. Uh, is that just early season kinks? <coughs> Players moving you know, fast right now or trying to k catch up to the speed of the game in the early part of the season? Or what is that? Well, I think I mean these guys pressure more than most teams were going to play. So I, I think it'll, a lot of it was Long Beach. They, they were forced turnovers. They did a good job. We had a couple that were on us. But there was a lot of them. The, the charges, you know, those are unforced errors, I think. I don't know how you guys stat them. But a couple of the ones that we just threw out of bounds. But they're running at you uh, with two or three people. They're super athletic. Um, they're a great defensive team. And they're just going to keep getting better. So I think the six in the second half was more of what we had expected. Um, the 15 in the first half was not great. So uh, we had to, at halftime, talk about playing stronger and, you know, f squaring up to the basket before we just try to throw over hands and making them guard us as an offensive player before we, you know, just kind of go dribbling off to some place. And um, once we adjusted to that, it seemed like we handled it pretty well. Anybody else? Is there an area that you would say you maybe are further along than you maybe anticipated at this at the early junction of the season here? Um, you know, we thought we were going to be pretty far. We were thought we were going to be pretty far ahead offensively, and I think that defensively we're doing okay. Um, I was a little bit concerned with where we were going to be defensively. There's still some growth periods. We had a couple of times today where we weren't in help side when we should have been, and we didn't get enough ball pressure. Um, but I think, you know, I would have predicted the offense to be pretty good and the defense to need to grow, and I think the, off the defense is doing more good things at this time than we had maybe anticipated. And last thing for me, at least, uh, between now and Saturday, when it's uh, kind of shore up here. Uh, well, it's a totally different team, <laughs> honestly, and, and I'm, I haven't even watched much of Southern Utah. So I think our team, we need to continue to work on the glass um, as, as a strength. That needs to become a strong point for us. Um, there's still some parts where we're trying to run some offense, and we had people in the wrong spots going the wrong directions. So that's something that happens a little bit early. We're talented offensively, but we're not fully cohesive yet. So um, try to clean up a little bit of those things, but really we're just going to be able to focus on what Southern Utah does. It's different than Long Beach and move along like that. 
Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, um, definitely got a lot of help from my teammates, but um, I feel like just going off of like the inside out, that was an emphasis in practice um, and kind of like a key that we wanted to um, incorporate into this game. Um, so I thought that we really like focused on that and used it to our advantage when we could. You guys were really clicking in that first quarter. <clears throat> yeah, my uh, all credit to my teammates. They make me look good, so uh, you gotta you gotta ask. Them. <laughs> uh, obviously, you don't want 21 turnovers, but and, and you never want to say, okay, it's comforting that 21 turnovers is one. But is it comforting to say, like, hey, we didn't play our best. There's still a lot to improve on, and we still won the game pretty handily. Or? Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is the first time this season. We played uh, a press and a one-three-one zone uh, as a team, so I'm I'm pretty much proud of this team because the whole week we've been just preparing for that, and I think we did a really good job. Um, I think Coach, Coach Craig mentioned in the locker room that they tried to run the one-three, one-three-one zone um, three times yeah. in the first half, and then once in the second because our ball movement was just killing on point. Yeah, <laughs> on point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no comment. <laughs> what she said. <laughs> Biggest thing that needs to happen between now and Saturday for, for Utah. Um, refocus um, and just making sure that because we spent so much time on like prepping for um, Long Beach State, like now like flipping that switch, getting ready because we have one practice before Southern Utah and like a little run through, like making sure that our focus is into the key points that we um, want to get done during the game. So I think like a reshifting um, of focus during practice tomorrow.